Hi, let's learn three simple PowerPoint photo tricks you should know as a beginner. The first trick is soft merge of a photo. Now take a look at this simple design. We have text on one side and we have a photo on the other side. This is a simple and a beautiful layout any beginner can use in their presentations. But then I personally prefer to have a soft edge in the photo so the photo seamlessly merges with the text. But then when you try to add a soft edge to a photo, you get this kind of a result. While there is a beautiful merging of the photo with the text right here, we have the soft edge effect on the other three sides as well, making this effect not so good. So how is it possible for us to achieve this kind of an effect where there is only soft edge on one side and the other three sides are kept intact? It's a handy little trick and it has a lot of applications in a number of situations where you use photos in your PowerPoint slides. Let me show you what the trick is. All I do is go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so. Go to Shape Fill and fill it with white color. Go to Shape Outline and give it no outline. Then right click, go to Format Shape, go to the Effects option and apply soft edges to just this piece here. So let me go to presets and I can apply any kind of soft edge, maybe 25 points, 50 points, it doesn't really matter. Let us apply 50 points and see how this works. You can see that the effect is not at all visible and that is because the size of this is too narrow. Now, if I extend this a little further, can you see here, we have this beautiful soft edge effect but then we have soft edges here and here. For that, all we need to do is to zoom out a little and then extend this up and down. And there it is, we have a beautiful soft edge effect. And then all we need to do is to bring this text element forward. Now, when I go to slideshow, you can see that the photo seamlessly merges with the rest of the slide. The good thing about this technique is you can have this as a template. So when you want to change this image to something else, you can do so without any trouble. All you need to do is to right click on the image, go to change picture from stock images or whichever source that you want to choose. And then I can always select something like say maybe this image and say insert. And there in no time we have created a beautiful picture based slide. Now let us go to the second tip, which is to create designer photos using SVG images that you get freely on the net. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Now, the beautiful designer photo effect you will learn to create now is this one. Can you see here, this photo has a beautiful border like this. Now, if you were to create this manually, it will take forever. But then you can always take advantage of some of the SVG images that are available freely in public domain sites. Let me show you how I achieved this effect. First, I went to pixabay.com. There I found this design called as doily matte design circle orange. Then I downloaded the SVG version of this image. Then I placed the SVG image right on top of the photo that I wanted to use. Then right clicked on the image and used convert to shape option. And that beautifully ungrouped the image and got me this result. Now, once I have this beautiful design, all I need to do is to readjust the size a little bit to suit my own requirements. And then select the photo first, hold the shift button down and select the SVG image and then go to shape format, merge shapes and use shape intersect option. And now I have this beautiful designer look. Now when I change the background color, you can see the effect even more. Let me use a darker color like this. Can you see here? We have this beautiful effect created from a free SVG image available from pixabay.com. Now the third and final trick you need to learn as a beginner is how to use 3D text labels for a natural look. Now, take a look at this photo. We wanted to write a caption on the photo. Now, as you can see here, there is not much of a place available here for me to write my caption. Maybe I can write somewhere here. 
and it still doesn't look impressive enough. The same way when I take another photo and write my text over here, it doesn't really show very nicely. Now let me show you a better alternative. Take a look at how we've written the text at an angle so it seamlessly merges with the photo here. The same way, take a look at this one. We have the text right on the wall so it merges beautifully with the image. So how do we achieve this effect? It's very simple. Let me show you from scratch. First, I right click on the text, then go to format shape. And here I go to the option called text options. You click on that tab and that opens up this pane. Go to effects option, then go to 3D rotation and then go to presets. And all you need to do is to play with the angles. Now I'm going to just start with some kind of a preset, maybe something like this. Now, when I did that, you can see that the angle is more or less there, but we need to make some finer adjustments. Now, all you need to do is to play with X, Y and Z rotation angles. Now, there is no real science to this. There is no particular way in which you need to choose your angles so you can get the result right. You just need to play with the different options here. Now, let us see what happens if I reduce the X rotation by clicking here on the left. Now, the text seems to have gone more to the wall. Now, if that is the effect that I'm going for, then it is good. Otherwise, I can always use the other side and you can see that it is more on the wall. The next thing I'm going to do is to have it rotate a little bit. Now, for that, I need to use Z rotation counterclockwise. Now, when I use counterclockwise, it goes in the opposite direction. So that means I need to use the clockwise. And now this looks decent enough. Now let us see what happens when I use Y rotation. Now this seems to be going to the right. And at the same time, it is rotating up and down. So let us try and change the angles a little more. Now this is perfect. So just by playing with the X, Y and Z rotations in the 3D rotation option for text options, you would be able to place your text exactly where you want it to be. I did the same thing for this one as well. Let me place it over here and then let us start with some kind of a preset. Let us go to 3D rotation and maybe I can use something like this, which is off axis to left in the parallel. Now that looks decent enough. Now let me use Y rotation and you can see that it is going in the opposite direction. So I try to make a change. Now that looks beautiful. If I want to change the font color, I can always change that. And that looks like somebody has written something on the wall. So it is that easy. If you want to get a good handle on how to get the various angles right, I suggest that you take a picture like this one and then write your text at different angles. Here you can see I've written something here, 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 here and here and all by adjusting the various angles just so I get a good idea of the way the various angles work. Now to find the image, you can always go to pixabay.com and search for brick, tiles, ceiling, structure, etc. And you'll be able to get this image as one of the suggested options. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.